In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to multi stream using your phone, and of course, we're gonna be using OmniStream as an application to do that. I'm gonna demo how to live stream to YouTube and Facebook at the same time. However, you can actually still multi stream to multiple platforms, including Instagram, Telegram, TikTok, Twitch, and you still have custom RTMP if you want to use that for any other platform. And again, the magic of OmniStream, the more you add platforms does not mean that you need more internet speed or more internet bandwidth because all you're doing is you're sending one stream to OmniStream servers and OmniStream is actually doing the distribution. So let's not take much time. Let's actually get into it. What is going on guys? My name is Sam with OmniStream here and right now I have OmniStream application open and what I'm going to do before we do anything in terms of settings, I just want to show you if you go to this export configuration button, as you can see, you have all the destinations that you can actually stream to at the same time if you want. We have Facebook, we have YouTube, we have Instagram, we have Twitch, we have Telegram. You can even live stream directly to OmniStream servers. And if you want, you can live stream to custom RTMP, which is going to allow you to live stream to any platform that supports live streaming using RTMP, which is cool. And of course, we have SRT and SRT listener and SRT caller, which actually, if you're interested in SRT, I have other videos that I made on how to set it up and be able to live stream to things like VMix or OBS. But for today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to live stream to Facebook and YouTube at the same time. And of course, if you want to stream to any other platform, it's going to be the same concept. So what we're going to do, the first thing you want to check before you go live, you want to make sure your bit rate is actually accurate now because we're going to be streaming to YouTube and Facebook at the same time. I know for Facebook, if you're streaming in 1080p, the maximum you can actually use as bit rate is going to be 6 megabits per second. Now for YouTube, you can stream up to 10 megabits per second in 1080p. And for this scenario, I'll actually encourage you to probably go with 6 because 6 is going to be good for YouTube and Facebook at the same time. So you should be good with 6 megabits per second. However, before you make the final decision, you also want to make sure you go to this menu right here and do a quick internet speed test using OmniStream and depending on what you have obviously because OmniStream does support network burning so right now I'm using Wi-Fi and cellular at the same time and OmniStream is going to use those two network sources to burn them together to give me a good stable internet connection and right now as you can see it says everything looks good it says good connection coming from my cellular and good connection coming from my Wi-Fi. So I am good to actually go ahead and use six megabits per second as my bit rate for this stream, okay? The next thing you need to go to, obviously you wanna make sure you decide which camera you wanna use. Right now I'm using the front facing camera. However, depending on what you're streaming, you may wanna use maybe the back camera. So you can go here and choose which camera you want to use you can even connect an external dslr camera if you want to do that and also need to choose the frame rate so again if you're doing like a talking head kind of streaming i'll encourage you to go with 30 frames per second if you were doing sports maybe you would consider 60 frames per second but for the type of streaming we're doing this should be good now the next thing you want to make sure you choose your codec now if you're not using srt I'll uh, actually go ahead and advise you to go with H.264, uh, which should be compatible with both YouTube and Facebook for your streaming. So other than that, everything else should be good. The next thing may be you want to make sure you actually uh, choose which microphone. If you're using the built-in microphone from your phone, you can actually go here and actually choose built-in microphone. Now, if you have a different setup where you have maybe another microphone connected to your phone or you're using a camera to live stream or using a DSLR camera to live stream, actually you may be getting the audio coming directly from the camera going to the phone and it's gonna be USB audio. So if you wanna use mute audio, again, you have that option, but in my opinion, you probably want people to hear you when you stream. So you wanna make sure you choose the right microphone 
depending on your use case scenario. So the next thing, of course, before we go live, we're gonna go ahead and actually set up our live stream. So we're gonna go to this configuration menu and what you need to do is you're gonna go to here where it says Facebook. Now I have this one, the SRT destination that had set up. I'm gonna go ahead and actually delete it for now. We don't need it. And I'm gonna go first, we're gonna set up Facebook. So what you need to do is I'm gonna go ahead and choose here to the Facebook icon. And of course, Facebook is gonna ask us to actually log in. So what you need to do is just to follow instructions log into your Facebook account through Omnistream. And as you can see, cause I had logged in before, so it's going to detect my credentials. So as you can see, once you logged in, it's gonna detect your timeline, or if you have some other pages, yeah, it's going to detect any pages that are actually connected to your Facebook profile. So what you need to do, obviously, you're gonna go ahead and actually, if you wanna stream to your page, you're gonna go ahead and choose the page you wanna live stream to, or if you wanna live stream to your personal profile, you're gonna do the same. Now for privacy, you wanna make sure you actually choose public. However, in my opinion, in my case, because I don't wanna go public right now, I'm just gonna do only me just for now because I don't want people to see the live stream, I'm just recording a video. Okay, but again, in your case, it should be public. Now, you're gonna go ahead and add a title. So in my case, uh, it could be testing, just testing. And then you're gonna go ahead and add a description. Could be again, test the only stream. Okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and hit done here. Okay, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit submit. And what it's gonna do, Omnistream is actually going to create an event for me. So the next thing, we're gonna go ahead and actually add YouTube. So what we need to do, we need to go to this YouTube icon. We're gonna go ahead and click on the YouTube icon and Omnistream is going to open a kind of browser that's going to ask you to connect to the Gmail account that's associated to your YouTube channel. So I'm going to go ahead and actually choose this one right here. And I'm going to go ahead and choose again. And it's going to ask you to allow. Uh, it's just a message to asking you if you want to allow Omnistream to connect to your YouTube account or to your YouTube channel. Of course, you want to make sure you hit allow. And once you hit allow, it's gonna, you're gonna get this tab right here, okay, that actually, uh, that's going to allow you to create an event on YouTube. Now, the first tab says privacy. For privacy, you wanna make sure you choose public. In my case, I'm just gonna go ahead and actually choose unlisted because I don't want people to see this live stream. I'm just recording a video, but if you were live streaming for real, you wanna make sure you actually choose public. And then for event type, of course, it's gonna be create an event and you can actually create a new event or you can use some past events. Or if you have a live stream that you have scheduled back in YouTube, that's something you can actually do as well. And you can go ahead and choose that event, okay? But for now, you're creating an event from scratch. And then category, you can go ahead and choose whatever applies to, you, to the type of content that you actually create. For me, if it's comedy, you're gonna go with comedy. If it's inter entertainment, you're gonna go with entertainment. If it's news, you're gonna go with news. For me, it's gonna be just people in blogs, just testing. Title, you can call it whatever you want. Again, mine, I just named it testing. And description, you're gonna go ahead and actually call it testing Omnistream. I'm just gonna delete here, Omnistream. Let's use that and perfect so testing omnistream so once you have everything already created what you need to do is you're gonna go ahead and actually hit submit and we should be good all right so once you submit as you can see we have two streaming destinations the first one is gonna be facebook and the second one youtube okay so what we can do we're just gonna go ahead and click on the x and right now we are ready to go live and the next thing we need to do is just hit this live button. And of course, we should be able to go live. So now I'm waiting. And right now, it actually says that I am live. So as you can see, it's showing us, of course, we're live streaming at 6 megabits per second. And we're streaming at 1080p, 30 frames per second, H.264. And so far, so good. You have this section where you can actually add graphics. If you want to add graphics, if you're doing sports, 
you can do multiple stuff while you actually live you can add lower thirds and stuff like that so basically this shot is gonna actually tell you if there's any issue with your stream so as you can see the stream is healthy everything is green it says no broadcast issues have been found total bit rate that we have available is actually 11.8 and then we have requested only 66 megabits per second which is awesome and if you go to this chart here it's gonna show you in real time how omnistream is actually burning both networks to be able to keep your stream stable and as you can see we're using about three 2.7 you know cellular network and then we're using about you know of course it keeps changing but three point something you know from the wi-fi as well so everything looks good and of course before we end the video we want to make sure you go to the pages both facebook and youtube to be able to verify if our stream is actually good so right now i'm on the facebook page where we are live streaming actually and as you can see this is the stream everything looks good i can do you know i can just wave a little bit and you can see that you know it's gonna show up a little late of course because there's always a delay between your actual recording and the actual you know the time that it's gonna reach the server and be live on facebook but as you can see we are live no problem and if I go to settings, you can see that we have 1080p available for the quality of the stream and the stream is smooth, no problem, okay? The next page where we live streaming at is actually on my other YouTube page. And as you can see, I am live here, no problem. If I go to quality, as you can see, it's 1920 by 1080p, of course, 1080p available no problem so everything is good everything is smooth everything guys is happening directly from my phone right here using omnistream so once you're done what you gotta do is you're just gonna go ahead and hit this red button and it's gonna end the live stream and as you can see it's gonna give you a warning message saying facebook and youtube live streams has been done and exports was deleted in order to set up a new export please tap on the export icon and configure a new stream so that's it so basically omnistream is going to end all the events that you have created on both facebook and youtube or any other platform that you may be multi-streaming to and of course that will be the end of your live streams so one thing that you're going to notice as you can see there's no errors or anything however you can see my picture is a little just a tiny noisy because i'm using my phone's front facing camera which is a camera that's not super high resolution but if you are a pro videographer and you really have something like a dslr camera by the way you can connect a dslr camera to your phone and be able to use that high quality picture like why you're watching right now through omnistream and take advantage of the power of omnistream to use your phone to be able to live stream and multi-stream to any platform that you want and of course i have made a video showing you step by step how to use your dslr camera with omnistream to be able to live stream through your phone and the video is gonna be linked right here if you want to check it out and i'll see you there guys take care